Collywobble by Malachy Doyle. Farmer Joe's sheepdog had seven pubs. Three were big and strong. Three were good enough. But one was the most shivery little thing you've ever seen. What a wobbly collie, said Farmer Joe, as the tiniest pup tried to stand up for the very first time. Hey, that's what I'd call you, Collie Wobble. The three big strong ones went off to be sheepdogs. The other three went off to be pets. But nobody chose Collie Wobble. He was just too small. You can stay here with me, I suppose, Farmer Joe told him one morning. But you'll have to earn your keep. The next day, the snow began to fall. We'd better go and fetch the sheep down from the hill, said Farmer Joe to Collie Wobble's mum, Bess. You mind the place where we're away, he told the little pup with a laugh. <laughs> but by two o'clock, there was no sign of them. And Collie Wobble was getting hungry. At three o'clock, he was worried. And by four o'clock, it was getting dark. Collie Wobble set off up the lane to see if he could find them. The snow was freezing cold on his tiny paws. And every now and then he'd sink in till he was nearly buried. Bah! A great army of sheep was coming down the lane towards him. The nervous little pup hid in the snow and waited for the truck with Bess and Joe inside to appear. But there was still no sign of them. Where could they have got to? The sheep marched right on into the farmyard. Meh! And suddenly Collywobble knew what to do. He ran and pushed the gate tight shut to keep them all safe inside. Then he raced off up the lane. <coughs> Who's that? Was it his mum barking? She was saying, Collie Wobble ran down the bank and, and there was Farmer Joe's truck on its side in the snow with Joe and Bess trapped inside. Collie Wobble took off up the track as fast as he could go till he reached Farmer Dye's house. You're Joe's little pup, aren't you? said Dye. Have you gone and got lost in the snow? Yeah, hop in my truck and I'll take you home before the weather gets any worse. But when they got to the bend where Joe had skidded off the road, Collie Wobble yapped and yapped. What's the matter, boy? Should Farmer die? And then he spotted the broken fence on the tire marks in the snow. Goodness me, said Farmer die. When he saw what had happened, he helped Joe and Bess out of the crumpled truck and back up to his own. You have a clever little pup there, Joe, said Farmer die. You'd have been in big trouble without him. Collie Wobble's mum, Bess, is the wobbly one, till her leg's better. And Farmer Joe's a bit wobbly too, after his bang on the head. So guess who's doing all the hard work around the farm? Golly Wobble! Because he's not a wobbly little scrap of a thing anymore. He's a proper working sheepdog and he's brave as brave can be. Yeah.